channel here is me fresh faced no makeup but guess what we're doing today well i'm sure you can tell by the title we are doing makeup today all the stuff that i got over christmas which included like the stuff in the advent calendar if you watched my vlogmas i will link vlogmas up above if you have missed it so it's a playlist go ahead and check out all 30 videos if you haven't check them out so you can see all the stuff i got in my advent calendar if you did you'll recognize some of the stuff here and also some of the stuff that i got for christmas like the um morphe palette so i thought i actually wanted to try all this stuff out and i thought let's do it together today is actually new year's eve and um, this is going to be posted next week so you, you guys will get in the new year so i hope you guys all had a good new year and are enjoying 2021 so far young chip is napping in the back here or well, probably not napping licking uh, i've just moved my table back a little bit so i feel like the lighting is a little bit better here than when i'm like pressed up against the window anyways we're gonna try all this stuff out together so then you guys can see if you like it maybe want to buy it whatever i'll see what i can link down below for you guys let's get started i'm gonna do a lot of my regular makeup that i already have uh, and then in addition to like I've got some of this stuff I'll let you know when it's the stuff that we got because I know some of these can go on forever we'll try and have a chit chat as we're doing this let's start with the primer the raw uh, the raw beauty primer let's pop, pop some of that on my face and then on the days when I really want my makeup to stay I will then put a setting spray so let's try this one the um, it's the Morphe Jeffree Star one uh, smells like strawberry so let's try it out oh, that really does smell so nice and then I let that dry down a little bit and then we're gonna pop on the foundation I'm just gonna use my Juvia's Place I've been mixing the two colors together and I'm going to try that new sponge that I got. It feels really nice. I think it's like a microfiber or something. I, I lost the packaging. I probably threw it away, not lost it. Um, and we'll try it and see how that works. So how has everybody's new year been? I mean, um, it hasn't happened yet. But when you guys are watching this, it would have happened. What did you guys do? What plans did you have if you had any? I guess we're all from different locations. So different things are allowed at different places. I don't have any plans now. We did have plans, but due to uh, the recent uh, clusters and stuff around Sydney, they have uh, restricted how many people can come over. So then we kind of decided in a group that um, I'm just going to spend it with my sister and Angus and, of course, little Chippy, only because it was too hard to try and pick who in the family was going to, like, split up and spend the time together. So in the end, we're just spending it with our own, like, immediate families so to speak um my parents are actually in moree at the moment so they're on a uh, vacation they've been gone for the last two weeks i kind of don't really say anything um when they are gone only because like i'm here alone and i don't really need the internet to know that but when you guys watch this they will be back uh so yeah my parents do uh if and then they do like to go away for Christmas only because as I've said before it's not actually our Christmas so then they come back they'll be coming back on Sunday so they come back in time for our Christmas and then my mum gets ready for that and then we celebrate that we go to church etc for that one um, so yeah they're really enjoying themselves because that's in rural New South Wales and they have these like hot springs that my parents love uh, they love going to places like that scene. I've been there like when I was young. My parents took me once. And I didn't find it that exciting because it was I don't think it's really for kids. But now they've upgraded the pools apparently and they have like big pools for kids and play area and stuff. So probably a fun place to go. And it's really good if you hot springs if you've got like you know body or problems or back problems. Uh, if you're from Maury, hello. With the Juvia's Place Foundation, I love the coverage because it's a full coverage. I just want to say that after about like a pretty much a full day's wear of it like say if you put on in the morning to the afternoon it gets a little bit like it kind of comes to the surface so all you have to do is like grab your sponge or something else and just re-pat it down and it just refixes itself back into place i think because it's kind of thickish uh you know kind of i don't know maybe i have, I have lots of pores and stuff and it brings it back up that's not really the way to explain it but like it doesn't come off it just looks, starts to look a little bit greasy per se so really i just get the sponge and i'm like double 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 and it goes back to like back to normal but that's like after quite a few hours of wear and i have a new concealer so just using my shape tape we're going to set that with my Too faced peach perfect powder <music> now 
Now let's try the bronzer. So I'm going to try the NARS one. This was in Laguna. So let's give that with my bonding brush. It's a little dark, but I don't mind it. Like it's if you if you're not too heavy handed and it's because NARS is good quality, like uh, I feel like it's not going to lead you astray. So as long as you're light handed, because the color is probably a touch dark for me and I'm a little bit tanned. <laughs> Bronzer is done. Time to do the brows. I'm going to be using, not that, my the Colorstay Wonderlay. This one I bought. Uh, it's I've used it before. It's not too bad. It was all they had on sale and as you guys know I like sale stuff. It's funny when I look back at old pictures of myself I never did brows. Brows is something new to me. I feel like growing up I had big bushy brows like very much so. Um, they were like thick and bushy and I was so embarrassed of them that I started plucking really quite early on and probably over plucked. I still feel like I'm they're okay they're, they're quite dark and I do have eyebrows um, but I must say like brows are in now if I had my old brows like wow I would have been totally on trend um, but I never felt the need to actually fill them in and now I just feel like it completes the look, like it polishes it off. You know how they say like brows are supposed to be sisters and not twins? I feel like mine are cousins because they're like quite a bit different. After brows, I usually do my eyeshadow. So let's do the eyeshadow. Okay, let's pick a color. Seeing as it's New Year's, I want to do like, I want to use this gold glitter in here. So I'm going to do like this sort of a lighter vibe and then do the gold glitter on top. So I'm also going to try out the new brushes that I have spread around. <laughs> pink. No me, I love my pink. So those of you guys that watched Vlogmas, did you guys enjoy it? Uh, was it something that uh, you liked seeing me do and would you watch it like if I do it next year because I quite enjoy doing it it's funny today was the first day that I'm not vlogging and it's kind of weird to get up and not have to think about um you know where I'm gonna put the camera and what I'm gonna record and stuff like that um because sometimes you just go about your life and you're like oh I should have recorded that um so it was kind of weird not having that and I got really into the like b-roll in the beginning where I would take like little bits and pieces of like my day and what I was doing and they're, they're bits that like normally if you're not talking you don't really show it and because you're vlogging you kind of want people to see what you've been doing throughout the day so I like to do little bits and bobs of you know making my coffee and that I really enjoy doing the b-roll um, so they were really really time consuming I was saying to my sister like it's like 20 seconds of footage but it takes me ages to edit it and even film it um, but it's, it's really quite fun and so I guess it's the first time I didn't have to do that uh, during this vlog <laughs> also been really happy that the weather's been okay and it has been hasn't been like deathly hot where I'm you know always complaining about the heat and then it also doesn't really make you want to film too much because you've got to move around and stuff and it's just hot um, so it's been really good that we've had nicer weather. Like last year, you know, we had the bushfires happening. It was like a disaster. And this year we have the pandemic, but last year, like we had all that, and oh, it's just it's been a whirlwind. Wind. Must say also, I haven't been eating the best since Christmas. Like I've been trying to, but here and there, uh, I haven't. So after today, I'm going to. Well, actually, not today. On Sunday we have my sister's uh, high tea so after that I'm gonna go back into my full health mode that I was on because I really enjoyed I enjoyed doing it and I enjoyed like the way I've been feeling eating avoiding like junky kind of stuff and I've still been avoiding that too now only it's hard when you have to go to other people's houses and stuff and I don't want to be that person who says no to things so um, I'm a people pleaser. If you don't know me, that is who I am. I don't like to ever offend anyone. Um, so <laughs> and, and so therefore I eat. Um, but we will be going back to um, a regular, what is it, regular programming as they say after this uh, holiday season. That took me a little bit of blending. Uh, I used Hi Dude and Designer Label and a bit of this girl. 
color uh, and I really really had to blend it to kind of get like a softer look thought I'd save the glitter for you guys so the glitter is called millions because we are worth millions of dollars all of us are sparkly I just even though I'm not doing anything I'm you know I still like to like New Year's myself up and I'll probably take a pic just to like post a New Year's post on Insta I feel like I do that every year so why not I mean it's not always about going out and doing stuff it's just about taking life as it is and just trying to enjoy every moment a lot of the time we tend to forget how short life really is and how we can lose anybody in an instance so there's no point in complaining about anything really like just try and enjoy what you can do the best with what you've got and just live your life eyes are done sparkling so I'm going to do the Ardell Whispies because they're the ones that I got in the pack I want to try them out so we are I'm actually not going to do eyeliner because I just want the eye to like shine on its own. So let's try the mascara that came in the advent calendar. It's the mascara in the Revolution brand. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. This is the stick. It is, it looks like it's, I don't know, it kind of looks a bit messy in the stick wise. Okay, a lot of mascara seems to come out of it. And normally I'm not one that does like taking mascara off, but this just looks like a whole chunk of mascara on here so I don't want it all over my face in looking at the brush without all the clunky mascara it's the kind of brush that I like it's like the better than sex brush uh, so I like it and it's lifting up the lashes if you can see the difference between the two I like it it would be one that I would use on its own probably uh, in the future without putting the lashes on it because it looks good on its own However, we're doing lashes today. Does anyone else have better lashes on one eye? Like my right eye has great lashes. My left one, not as good. And my tip is prior to putting false lashes on, wait for your mascara to dry so it doesn't go all over your face. And wait to put your lashes on before you put your bottom mascara on because you don't want that going everywhere either. I'm going to put these on off camera and we'll be back with the completed eye look. Time for a little bit of blush. I'm going to use my pink one from Flower. I was going to say Flower Power. <laughs> uh, haven't been to have Flower Power in a while. And if you're not from Australia, Flower Power is just they sell flowers, pot plants, stuff like that. I feel like I want to mix it a little bit with my other one, my Clarence one. I feel like I don't need it to be too, too pink. Maybe a little bit on the bronzy kind of side. Time for some highlighter. I'm going to use my Juvia's Place one. New Year's so we're gonna highlight away every time I put on highlighter wow my nose is bright it I always feel like saying you know frosted you're frosted and then that leads me to think of um how to lose a guy in 10 days with that whole frosted thing have you watched I mean who hasn't watched how to lose a guy in 10 days let me know if you haven't watched it because I feel like everybody's watched it uh, a few times even at least <laughs> all right time to do the lips I'm just gonna line them with which one are we doing today just my flower power one the nude one and then I'm going to use my Clinique pink lipstick in the color fab pop probably have to redo my lips because it's a bit early today um, and I'll probably eat before I even take photos but you know we've got to do a completed look lips are done finally we're gonna do the setting spray again I love the continual mist I really like it it smells so nice and that's done let me take the clips out I always feel like when I have my hair like that that I look like Orlando Bloom from Lord of the Rings uh, if you guys have watched Lord of the Rings <laughs> let me know if you think that every time I have my hair I just think I always think of that I, even, I forgot the name of his character um, it's been a long time since I've watched that uh, but yes this is the completed look the eyes the face uh, in going saying all the stuff that I used uh, I really enjoy I really like the lashes they're the double wispies um, I would say they're more for going out I feel like they're a bit much for everyday wear but I really love them they're like glamorous looking so they're the Dardell double wispies sponge was great I love the setting spray uh, the NARS it's okay, I mean, it's great, but I mean, 
I love my L'Oreal, which was a lot cheaper and you get so much use out of that one. I do like the mascara, so and I don't think that's expensive either. And that's it. My battery is flashing away. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys uh, stay along with me this year. I'm going to try and create some decent content for you guys to enjoy. Chip is still napping behind me if you're wondering what happened to him. Thank you guys once again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really enjoy that. And comment down below. Let me know what you think of this look. And I will see. I'm always shouting. Uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.